Right now, businesses are struggling to hire. Many have openings they just can't seem to fill, and some are starting to offer higher wages to attract more applicants. McDonald's says it is raising hourly wages about 10% at its corporate-owned stores, so entry-level workers there can now expect to earn between $11 and $17 per hour. And Chipotle is making a similar move. It's boosting pay for entry-level workers to between $11 and $18 per hour. Well, tonight, the parent company of King Supers is taking heat for taking away workers' pandemic hazard pay. A labor union says it's a tough pill to swallow when the company's top executives picked up bonuses. Denver 7 CB Cotton is catching up with workers. For the aisles that needed constant restocking. The workers are the ones that keep it going. We have grocery store workers like Joel Loomis to thank. Loomis worked at a Boulder King Supers during the pandemic. Now his work, advocating for better compensation for grocery store employees. I mean, a lot of my coworkers got paid 13 bucks an hour. But at some point, his colleagues earned more. At the start of the pandemic, parent company Kroger announced a $2 hourly hazard increase, also known as a hero bonus. About two months later, in May of 2020, at the height of the pandemic, the company halted the raise. It's not like the pandemic went away. Now, grocery store workers are speaking out after reports that Kroger executives cashed in. In fact, the union says the CEO received a $22.4 million pay package in 2020, a 6% increase from the year before. At the same time, Bloomberg reports the average pay for a Kroger employee dropped by 8%. We feel like that is a disgrace to the employees that were risking their health and their family's health by continuing to go to work day in and day out. Zach Lewis, a representative from the United Food and Commercial Workers Union, says during the pandemic, top executives were given an option that grocery workers didn't have. They were working safe from Zoom and the grocery workers um, having to continue to go in, wear masks, you know, eight hours a day plus. In December, two union chapters alongside United States Senator Bernie Sanders sent a letter to the Kroger CEO asking the hero pay be reinstated. It never was. In a statement to Denver 7, Kroger said in part that they've increased pay for associates by more than 800 million since 2018 and that they plan to invest significantly in associate wages this year. We had to keep working during this pandemic, you know, without a protection against COVID and not getting anything extra. CB Cotton, Denver 7.